What's up guys, this is Mike from Terrestrial Imaging and in this video I'm going to show you what it takes to install the DJI XC Thermal Imaging Camera on both the DJI Matrice 200 series and the DJI Inspire 1 version 2. So on the table with me we have the DJI Inspire 1 version 2, the DJI Matrice 200, uh, its controller, the Inspire's controller. We have the X3 camera that comes with the Inspire 1. We have the X4 camera for the uh, Matrice. And we have the um, XC thermal imaging camera version 2 that could be used with either. And lastly, we have the gimbal adapter that allows you to use the XT with the DJI Matrice 200. So the first thing we need to point out is when I first introduced the XT camera, I introduced it as the XT Thermal Imaging Camera version 2. Now that's referring to the software. A while ago, before the Matrice 200 was out, there was the XT camera uh, with version 1 software that was only compatible with the Inspire 1, as this was not around yet. So on the table, again, version 2 software, it can now be used with both these aircrafts. If you do happen to have uh, an XT version 1 uh, camera, you can have that sent into DJI and they could upgrade it to a version 2 firmware and then you could use it on both aircrafts. And one other thing, the XT version 2 software should not be confused with the new uh, XT2 thermal imaging camera by DJI that is just coming out now. So if you have a look at each of these cameras and the bottom of both these aircrafts, you'll notice that there's two different types of pinouts and two different types of connectors. So on the bottom of the Inspire one, there's two rows of uh, several pins. And on top of the XT, you'll notice that pinout actually matches the bottom of the Inspire. So to use the XT on the Inspire, it's actually very simple. You just put it on the bottom of the Inspire, you lock it and power it on and you're good to go. You get to use the XT in the DJI Go app. And so that's how it works on the Inspire, real simple. Now, when you go to the DJI Matrice 200, it's a little bit different. The pinout on this one is actually much different. It's uh, one long series of pins. And the X4 on top of that, that fits the bottom of the DJI Matrice. But the XT, like I said just a second ago, it actually matches the bottom of the Inspire. So to work around that, there's a mount adapter that you have to get separately designed specifically to convert the bottom of this to the same connector that the XT uses. And so once you install this on the bottom of the Matrice 200, then it's like installing the XT on the Inspire. The bottoms now match and they work. The only difference once you actually get this camera on the DJI Matrice 200 is that you have to use a separate app uh, specific for the XT on the Matrice 200. So uh, again, very similar once you actually get to use them and install them, the installation process is a little bit different and you have to use a different app. So I'll show you how to use the XT right now on the Inspire. It's actually very simple. So if you look at the tops of all these cameras and the bottom of both these aircrafts, you'll notice that there's two different kinds of connectors. And so the bottom of the Inspire 1 that connector actually matches the top of the XT. So real simply, to use the XT on the Inspire, you put it on the copter like you would with the X3, lock it, turn it on, and then connect to the DJI Go app. And then you'll just be able to use the XT like you would the X3. Now using the XT on the DJI Matrice 200 is a little more complicated. So if you look at the bottom of the Matrice 200, you'll notice that the connector is much different than that of the Inspire 1 and on top of the XT. So to work around that, you have to get a separate mount adapter um, if you're going to get an XT camera and intend on using it on the DJI Matrice 200. So what it does is it, it takes the uh, pinout on the bottom of the Matrice and it converts it to the pinout on the top of the XT. So then once you put this adapter on, it's just like installing that camera on the Inspire. Very simple, you put it on, you lock it. And now, you gotta take it one step further too, you can't use the DJI Go 4 app with the XT installed on the DJI Matrice 200, you now have to use the DJI XT Pro app. 
So that's really the only difference between using the XT on the Matrice 200 and the Inspire 1 is the adapter and the app that you use. So just a quick recap, out of the box, the XT will fit on the DJI Inspire 1 version 2 without any extra parts or adapters, and you'll be able to just plug it in, turn it on, and go. Now the DJI Matrice 200, again, the only two differences, you'll need that adapter, and then once you turn it on and get it connected to your controller, you're gonna have to use the DJI XT Pro app. So just for fun, before we wrap up the video, we're just going to show you a sneak peek at the XT thermal imaging, and we're going to show you the cameraman. Alright, that's it for this video guys, thanks for watching. I hope you have a better understanding on how the DJI XT thermal imaging camera works. If you're looking for an XT camera, a Matrice 200, or the Inspire, give us a call and we can help you out. And be sure to visit us on the web at www.terrestrialimaging.com. Thank you.